limited review slash demo of the uh, Spyderco Pakal. Okay, this is a reverse edge fighting knife uh, tactical folder. So Pakal is a, uh, it's a Filipino word basically meaning to rip and it kind of, uh, that goes into the design of uh, why this knife was uh, made the way it is. So this knife is designed to be used as a fighting knife with a reverse grip, um, basically with the edge facing um, inbound. It was designed by uh, Craig Douglas of Shivworks. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera to zoom in on it. There's a little logo right there with a little cobra. That's their logo. Um, I'm gonna put a, a link in the description below to their channel. They've got a lot of really good content. Um, a lot of what they teach at their seminars and their classes is uh, relates to grappling when a knife or a gun is introduced. So if someone's trying to take away your weapon or uh, whether it be a firearm or a knife or whatever. Um, so the methodology behind this knife is it is a wave deployable tack folder. Um, it's meant to be used in a reverse grip with the edge um, basically inboard facing you. Um, if you watch the uh, Shivers content, I've also seen them use um, a knife very reminiscent of this called the uh, clinch pick. Um, they will use it in a forward grip, um, but again with the edge inboard. Um, so I'll get into like some of the methodology in a minute. I'm going to talk about the, the specs first. Um, so this knife is actually made in the U.S. Um, in Colorado, which is nice. Um, it's CMP S30V steel. Uh, which is really good steel. Um, if you were to use this um, as an everyday utility knife, it would hold up very well. Um, the steel is easy to sharpen. It holds the edge for a very long time. You can get it razor sharp. Um, it's very corrosive resistant. Um, so it's it's a great steel. So usually with some self-defense knives, you don't if you're going to just carry it for that purpose, you're not really worried about using it as a utility knife. Like you wouldn't necessarily need such a higher quality steel. Um, but they went all out with steel. The only con of that is it pushes the price point up a little bit. So MSRP for this, I think it's just under $200 um, if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, it's got a flat grind. Uh, the blade is three inches long. It's got the classic spidey hole, which doesn't really get a whole lot of use um, out of me. Um, it's got the, uh, this is an Emerson wave feature. Um, I'll get into the, the draws in a, in a little bit here. Um, this is apparently removable. Um, I've never tried. I don't see why you would. I think that removing the wave feature on this would be very stupid. Uh, it's got a ball bearing lock. Okay, so basically all you have to do is slide this guy down and the blade comes out. I really like this um, as opposed to I have a Spyderco Endura and it's got a solid back lock on it. But sometimes when I really re like grip the knife hard I can almost feel the back lock. Um, giving in a little way so in your you know, a tactical knife you don't want to accidentally um, and engage or disengage that locking mechanism by accident and with this design that's that's not going to happen um, the handle is g10 and it's got a very solid um, pocket clip it's only held in there by one screw um, and you could if you're a lefty you could reverse it um, but it's it's pretty tight it's a very solid lock up there's one backspacer um, back toward the end of it, and um, the GT the G10 is slightly checkered, um, and it stays in your pocket uh, very well. So the idea behind this knife is that you put it in your pocket with um, the wave facing um, away from your arm, and so you put it in your pocket, and then you push the grab it underneath to push the thumb out a little bit, and as you draw. The wave snags on your pocket and then so the knife will deploy like this and then you would roll the knife into your hand like this okay um, like I said this is one of the, the shiv works um, kind of like I guess it'd be like flagship knives and um, they also use this if you um, go I'll also put a link to this in the description below um, Libre fighting systems has a curriculum called uh, Reaper they've got two of their um, distant learning uh, DVD packages online. You can order the, the hard copy DVD, but you can also just get it um, online. And um, in their DVD, they kind of cover the concept of Yaido, basically drawing the knife and uh, deploying it into action in one motion. Um, and this is one of the knives that they use in that video, um, very specific to this knife. Um, I think that covers all of the specs um, and the history of it. Uh, I'm going to go into showing you how it's deployed uh, right now.
So this is what it looks like full speed. Okay. So what you do with this is you put it in your pocket, run it all the way to your center line. So for me, that's all the way to the left. Okay. Normally with a wave knife, what you would do is you'd run it the other way with the wave feature facing this way. So you deploy it like that. You don't want to do that with this knife. You want to run it this way. Okay. So I come into my fingertips. My fingertips push down on the bottom of the knife, or what would be the top after it's deployed. Uh, my thumb goes underneath the butt of it, pushing it out just a little bit, like this. And then I put my uh, index finger and my middle finger on the pocket clip and push the knife up and out. So kind of like in a diagonal motion, like this. So it kind of comes up like this. As I do that, I roll the knife in like this, okay? Because it's not going to come out an ideal wraparound grip. You kind of have to adjust it like that, which you can do quickly, um, but it's still something you probably need to practice. So the methodology behind this is that when you go to draw it, you can kind of strike in one motion, okay? Um, I think the Japanese concept is Yaido, basically like drawing and striking at the same time. Um, if you go in to the link in the description below, I'm going to put a, a link there for Libre Fighting Systems. They've got two curriculums um, for a Reaper system. And that's what they use. They use the scythe grip. Um, and they actually feature the training version of this knife and how to deploy it um, basically in their system. Um, so it's really good. I would highly recommend that. Um, another thing you can do with this knife, and I've seen the uh, Shivworks guys use it with a clinch pick, is you deploy the knife into a forward grip, okay? But with the edge facing upward, like this. So here's what it looks like. So I can come in here, do what, like with the Libre knife system, they call it pendulum motion. So I come in, cut, 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 work through the defense, and then keep keep my attack going. Um, you could also deploy it, again, with a forward grip, and just come up the center line, which is more like an Italian fencing style tactic, um, but actually works pretty well with the call style knife. So again, full speed. All right. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.